Here's soundbite one from last night. Michelle interviewing Aaron Donald, the star defender of the Rams, after his big Super Bowl win. What did you see on that last play that enabled you to do what you did and make that stop? Strain, strain. You know, one last play to be world champs. Give it everything you got. I found the way to get to him. We made a play and we won. That's all that matters. So. You talked about the confetti, the feeling. I know you're going to get a chance to hug that Lombardi trophy that you wanted to hug for so long. How does this measure up to what you thought it might be like, Aaron? It's the best feeling in the world, man. I, I, God is great. God is great. I just, I'm, I'm lost the word. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm just, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. It was a great moment. And by the way, it was a great follow up because he had said moments earlier, I've, I've dreamed of this. I've dreamed of this. And it seems like a simple question. Like, how does it measure up? But it's actually not. It was a clever way to round back to it and to the emotion and bring us there again and get him to expand on it. And it that was like the moment of the night. That's what that's what you're looking for, just to make people at home feel something. Yeah. And he I mean, I was feeling it from him. He was sobbing by the time I got to him. We were you're in this moment of chaos right after the game ends of you're getting Aaron Donald go. And there are two full teams plus all their staffs and family and PR on the field. And you're trying to find your guy. And um, fortunately, I mean, I had help obviously, but it, you're desperately and you, you, you want to do it live. So you're trying to get it immediately. And by the time I got to him, he was just, he was crying so hard. It was just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, we had spent time with Aaron. I mean, I've spent time with him over the years, just knowing what kind of competitor he is, what this meant to him. I, it's hard to explain because I think people think, you know, it's already so glamorous and so amazing to just be an NFL player. There is a an enormous step that changes in your life or that you take in your life once you become a world champion. It's something that no one can ever take away. All your regrets are released because your career has meant it. It's been worth it. And I know that's what this was for Aaron. And nobody works harder than that man. Um, And so to see him able to do it, to achieve that final play, and then to be able to soak it in, it was was really, it was beautiful to watch. All right, now I'm getting emotional because I'm thinking about you. And I'm thinking about, that was your Mm -hmm. last Super Bowl. Like, that was a culminating moment for you too. I don't know why I'm feeling emotional about this, but I but like it was a big night for you too. And and to spend your last night reporting on the sidelines at the Super Bowl and celebrating whoever's win, probably in, in your view, although you're from California, so maybe you like the Rams. Um that must have been great. And like your your colleagues in the booth giving you an emotional goodbye. Do we have I think yeah, we've got Al Michaels. Here's Al Michaels. This is SOT sixteen. A couple of things. Number one, Michelle Tafoya retiring from sports casting. Michelle, we love you. You have been so much fun, and uh, we'll hear a lot more from her. You and I, I don't know what the future holds, pal. Yeah, like, I mean, how many people were watching last night, saw that moment? You know, it's just like a moment, but it's it means something. I, it did, but I'll tell you what you didn't see that really was shocking and surprising to me. So I finally was getting ready to leave the field and I said, and I was, I had a couple people with me, but I stopped and I said, I should, I should turn around and look at this field uh-huh. just kind of, cause I hadn't been able to soak it in yet. So I turn around, I'm in the kind of right outside of a tunnel and I'm looking at the whole, the stadium is beautiful by the way. And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the lights and I'm looking at this place where I've spent the last 25 years of my life as kind of like my workplace. And that I would never stand right there again in that role with that kind of view and that kind of access and that kind of excitement and that kind of feeling. And I lost it. And I had been keeping it together all week. I hadn't been thinking about it because I just had a job to do and I was looking forward to getting on with Megan Kelly on Monday morning. And I was just like, go, go, go. And all of a sudden, I just I lost it. And I just started crying and I didn't want anyone to see it. I'm just like going like this. And, but I didn't want to walk away still. I wanted to just look. And I said to myself, this is, this is really weird and sad, but I've got to just look at, I got to, so I got to look at this and not forget that this is what I've done for 25 years. It's been a privilege 
It's been fun. It's been hard. This is the last view, Michelle. Just take it in for another minute. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.